Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on the book that I just read, uh, Great Wolf's MC Joker. It's an MC biker romance book. It's by Jane Blue. Uh, so I did the one video today about From the Darkness, and then I started to read this book, and I really enjoyed it. I did take a couple breaks to do a few things again, but I was able to come back to it, and I was able to finish it really fast. It mainly because I enjoyed it so much. So it is a typical uh, motorcycle club romance book, but unlike the other book that I read, I don't know if you've watched the From the Darkness book review, but this one doesn't mention like club girls or anything like that in the book. They do really talk about like call of business and church and the club and how seriously they take that. And they do mention that they were, the, this is going to have spoilers, so I apologize in advance. They do mention that the club used to be like a 1% club, but then they went, I guess you'd call it legit. I don't know if that's offensive or not. But they went to uh, do just more legal business all the time. So they owned a few businesses that were completely legal and okay for them to own and do. So the main character is a single dad. He brings his son to daycare, and he meets his son's teacher at the daycare slash preschool. And those are the two characters that fall in love. And I think that I like this... Sorry, I had a timer go off on my phone. I have laundry in the washer uh, that I have to go do. But I think I enjoyed this book so much because there was like a happily ever after ending. And the fact that... Another one of my pet peeves that the other book didn't have. The pages are numbered. A little thing of mine. I don't know why, but the pages have to be numbered. Uh, anyways, I love this book so much because it kind of has like that... The main character kind of has this like innocent feel to her, if that makes sense. That she doesn't know anything about the club. She doesn't know anything about that life. And she's kind of introduced to it all and just accepts it and goes with it because she loves the main character. Not that the other one didn't have that, but the other one kind of had a more, from the darkness book, had a little bit more of a strong-willed, independent character, whereas this one, in the Joker book, this main character, she was a bit more timid, I guess you could say, and a little bit more reserved, and at least that is the feel that I got from her. So... I 10 for 10 would recommend this if you like that cute little happily ever after motorcycle club romance. Even if you're not into the specifically the motorcycle club romance. The romance aspect of it itself was kind of cute and I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't realize this when I ordered it though that it is part of a series. So, I think it's really part of a series. I'll see if I can hold it up there. I believe it is the fourth one down at the top. So, the Great Wolf's MC series has, uh, yeah, it's the fourth one down at the top. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, five different chapters in state. And the different states, which I... So each, it's like a general series, and then each chapter has its own, each book for a different character. So I read the fourth book, which is Joker, which is not the first book in this. And this is the Ohio chapter series. And then there's the California chapter series, there's the Michigan chapter series, Chicago, Florida... And then she has another MC series that each has its own books, and she has... Sorry, I'm reading the book over here. Like, six more different MC series, and each is about a different character. They're all standalone, so you can technically read them out of order, but it kind of makes more sense if you do read them in order. And the only reason I know this personally is because I have read so many standalone series where it does make a lot more sense if you read them in order just for the fact that if you read them out of order you're like what the heck this guy wasn't single 
in this series, but it's only because, well, I read the fourth book first instead of the first one. Whereas he was single in the first one and not in the fourth one. And I guess the only downside of that is that you do get to learn more about the different characters in the series as you read them in order. So if they have different quirks in the characters themselves that you don't like, you do learn more about that. But I didn't have that problem with this one, which is probably why I love it so much. So Joker is part of the Great Wolf's MC series, and it's the Ohio chapter, the fourth book. I'm going to try to get the other books in this Ohio chapter series, and I really want to read her other MC series. I know they're not all going to be the same, and they're not going to all have that innocent storyline, especially because they said that one of the main character, not main characters, one of the other characters was like related to a club member already, and then married a different club member. So that'll be a bit different, and it'll be a bit harder for me to understand and relate to, which is probably why I am able to enjoy this one so much because I could relate to the aspect of not knowing anything about that, if that makes sense. If I was able to put myself into the character, like when I read the book, I try to imagine myself as the character as I'm reading it, just so I can have a better understanding of what is all going on and what is all happening. So like I said, I 10 for 10 recommend this book. It's about as perfect as I would get to with motorcycle club book and romance book in general because you still have those like cheesy oh, typical romance book parts of it you know and especially when you read motorcycle club books i can almost guarantee you that every time you read a book a motorcycle club book that they're gonna have those moments where something's gonna happen at some point in the book where the main character Either the female or the male is going to get mad and they're going to have like a little breakup and then they're going to get back together. Or there's, there's like one motorcycle club book romance that I started, but I just couldn't get myself to finish it. I think it was on Kindle Unlimited where she was already married to like a club president and but he was really abusive and constantly cheated on her. And she was really supportive of the fact that he went with other women just so that he wouldn't pay attention to her so she didn't get abused anymore. I, you learn all this in like the first chapter and I just could not bring myself to read the rest of the book. I believe in the book she ends up like getting divorced and finds another motorcycle club member that she falls in love with and they end up happily ever after. But the fact that it started out that way and was so dark so fast for me was kind of a bit of a hard thing to swallow and to read about. So that kind of turned me away from that book. It was really hard for me to read books like that. I have tried, and I have read a couple for, for a few people that have asked me, Hey, what do you think about this book? Hey, uh, I want to read this book, but I'm not sure if I would like it yet. Could you read it for me? And I have done that a few times. So, I really hope that that helps a few people, I guess, if that makes sense. I kind of lost track there, moving off topic. So, last few thoughts on this book, and then I'll get off this video and go do the rest of my laundry. So, I'll, so the Joker, I really like the character. I really liked his road name, Joker. And I don't know if it's because I'm such a big fan of the Joker, the actual character himself, that I just find it really cool and amusing when there are so many, like, the different road names in their different correlations to uh, the characters, I guess that makes sense. The only thing I, now that I think about it, that I was kind of dis that I kind of kind of disappointed about, is that the fact that usually at some point in the book, and the other one, now that I think about it, didn't do this either. In a motorcycle club book, if they get involved with a person at some point or another, they'll tell them their real name. And then they'll tell them, hey, this is how I got this road name or this particular nickname. And they didn't really explain that in either of the books. And I kind of like learning that in the different books themselves. Because it is interesting to read about. So there is that. But, like I said, typical innocent girl meets a bad boy biker. 
romance book that if you truly enjoy it and you truly like those type of romances, this would be a book to go to. I got it off of Amazon, through Amazon Prime, because I'm a member through that, and I don't remember what this one cost, but it, was, it wasn't more than a few dollars. So it was definitely worth it. Free shipping. Now, though, I'm going to go on a little quick rant that I tried to find another book in the pile that I got today. I really should have read more on these titles because I would not have picked them out if I did not read, if I read the little summaries that they give almost of the books. So, like I said, like I told you guys earlier with the other one, I'm not a fan of second chance romance books, personally. And I believe, like, the three books, like this one, and this one, this isn't a, I don't think this is a second chance romance book, but the way that it's worded is kind of just weird on the back for me, personally. And this one... They're not really books that I would have picked out to read myself personally, so it's going to be really hard for me to enjoy and read them right now. But I'm going to do it because I paid for them and I really don't want to deal with the process of returning them. And I kind of committed to it because I already made the video on it. So the next book I'm going to read is this one. Musketeers. This is another example of I should have read at least the titles more because this is... Another series, a Fallen MC series, and this is the second book in the series, and I really should have been paying more attention, I should have looked at the titles more and thought about, hey, if I want to get this book, I really should get the first book in the series, especially reading them out of order kind of drives me nuts. Even though I've done it before, especially I've done it to a series where I didn't like the stuff. Uh, summary or plot of the first one but the second one I was like ooh I kind of like that so I'm gonna read this one I'm gonna look up on Amazon about the other books in this particular series only the Ohio chapter series so far that I'm gonna look at of getting and then this one is also a series so I'm gonna look up this one to see the other books in this series. The only thing about the other books in this series is that I know it's going to have that typical uh, the character that the next book is about likes an another character but he's not committed to her but he doesn't like her having other men in her life but it's okay for him to sleep around with every other woman in the world. So that kind of bothered me, and that kind of does bother me a lot. So that might play a little bit part of how I view the series. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but I'm going to look into it, look at the other series, other books in the series, so I can get a general feel and tell you more about the series itself. I do love doing this, and I do love kind of like pushing my limits almost and pushing my comfort zone of reading books that I normally wouldn't read. And like I said, the not happily ever after not cheating series like the uh i showed a prequel little itty bitty little book th that i got that i didn't realize was a prequel and it's like six little chapters and it relates to the actual book i wouldn't have gotten that because i have a bad habit of reading the last page which i did and the prequel doesn't end on a ha on a happy note kind of ends on the girl taking off on the guy so I'm going to try to find that actual book, try to find the other books in that series, and this series. I'm going to start this one, and then if I do finish it tonight, which I'm not sure if I will or not, because I still have to do laundry and still have to do a few other things, and I'm hungry. Um, so, late night snack for me. But, I'm going to read this one. I'll probably upload the video tomorrow, and then tomorrow I can guarantee that I'll start another uh, book. But I'm not sure which one. I might just force myself to read this one. Because uh, this is a, this technically is a second chance romance book. It doesn't say that. But it does say she's back. My first love. The only girl who ever broke me. Kind of sounds like a second chance romance book. I might not like it. But I'll probably force myself to read it. 
might like it more than I thought. And so that'll probably be my second book. And I should probably just read them in the order that they're in the box. So that I don't chicken myself out of it, I guess. And I should have read the book series more because there was another ser book that I wouldn't have read before that I'm just going to read now. And I know I have like a ton of books in my cart on Amazon already to read next. And I really should have thought those through too because I didn't look at the titles on them very much. But I'm just going to, those are going to be for next month. Or if I finish early this month, because I am on a roll. I'm on my third book, and I only got these today. They were supposed to last me all of this month. So, I might have to order a few for this month. Maybe, like, take them up. Put them in, like, they save for later. And do that. But, so I'm going to read this book today. Probably start that one, the other one to, that I just showed tomorrow. Because I don't know if I'll, and if I do finish this one tonight... I don't think it'll take me long. It's only, only, I say only, it's like 147 pages, but there, it is tiny wording, but the book itself feels thin, whereas the one that I just finished was a thicker book, but that was like 200 and some pages, but the wording was larger, so it might be a little different. It'll be interesting. I do have one more note that I noticed that as I was flipping through the books trying to figure out what to read next I did notice that the copyright at the beginning of the book they like all have them but how professional they are at the beginning of each book is really interesting and really different like I believe one of these books I get this one the one that I said that I'll probably force myself to read because it's a second chance this is the copyright page now normally, in a lot of the books that I read, they're like that long, or I need to find it one sec. Or they're like this. And there's a few more that are even longer than that that talk even more in depth of the copyright. You can't, like, try to, you know, plagiarize or put this out there or write it up in a way that you'll make money off of it. But it's interesting. It doesn't really affect the, like, review of the book, but I just found that interesting how uh, each book has a different, almost copyright writing to it. Which I'm sure has a fact that I'm pretty sure some of these book art books are self-published. Especially this one. It has two authors on it. But the fact that it doesn't list like a publisher or a publisher company. Because it literally goes from the copyright page right into the book itself. And then in the back, the book ends... And that's it. Whereas a lot of the other ones, like this one, for example, the Joker book that I was reading, has the copyright, and then it goes on about acknowledgments and. Well, not this one. There's the other one from the Darkness had acknowledgments, or like. It does have a little thing about a little thing about the author and the other series. But this one I do know has the other series that she has wrote in the back listed. And it does have like the up next. What book is up next? And little things like that that I personally if I was gonna write a book would have this in there. So that is just something to also think about if you're looking at different books to remember. So, I really loved the Joker book. I'm gonna try to look into the rest of the series. I definitely recommend the author. I'm gonna read this next book next, read the next one, and I'm gonna continue being on a roll because I absolutely love this and love making the videos and talking about them. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, and commented on the videos. If you have any books that you would like me to read, please let me know. Thank you.